cat and mouse game between stealth technology and radar detection has reached a critical turning point. Chinese military researchers claim they can now detect America's prized F-22 and F-35 stealth fighters from 180 kilometers away, potentially stripping these trillion-dollar aircraft of their most valuable asset. Meanwhile, the United States just unveiled its new sixth-generation F-47 fighter, promising unmatched stealth capabilities that will overpower any other nation. As tensions mount in the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea, the question becomes, are we witnessing the beginning of America's stealth advantage collapse? Or is this simply China's propaganda machine at work? The answer could determine who controls the skies in any future conflict. In November 2024, the South China Morning Post reported that Chinese military researchers from the People's Liberation Army National Defense University conducted simulations showing they could detect F-22s and F-35s from 180 kilometers away using land-based radars. If true, this would significantly compromise these aircraft's ability to conduct surprise precision strikes, their primary mission in any Taiwan scenario. But the United States isn't standing still. In March 2025, President Donald Trump announced Boeing would build the new F-47 fighter, America's first sixth-generation combat aircraft. This announcement came with bold claims about its capabilities. Faster, more maneuverable, and stealthier than anything built to date, designed specifically to penetrate the most advanced air defenses. If you believe stealth technology will always stay ahead of detection systems, type yes in the comments. To understand the significance of these developments, we need to look at how stealth technology evolved. Stealth aircraft aren't invisible. They're designed to delay detection long enough to complete their mission. Whether that's gathering intelligence, striking high-value targets, or establishing air superiority. The F-22 Raptor, introduced in 2005, represented the pinnacle of stealth technology. With its carefully angled surfaces, radar-absorbing materials, and internal weapons bays, it reduced its radar cross-section to about the size of a marble. The F-35 Lightning II, while not quite as stealthy as the F-22, added advanced sensor fusion and networking capabilities. These aircraft cost the United States over a trillion dollars to develop and produce. The F-35 program alone is the most expensive weapon system in history, with total costs exceeding $1.7 trillion over its lifetime. But stealth has always been a relative, not absolute advantage. As one Air Force general put it, stealth doesn't mean invisible, it means having more time. The question now is, how much time do these aircraft still have? Let's examine China's claims more closely. The simulations presented at the 36th China Simulation Conference in October 2024 were led by project engineer Cao Wei. These simulations specifically modeled an F-22 and F-35 attack on Shanghai from Japan. According to the research, China's land-based radars could detect stealth fighters from 180 kilometers away, enough warning time to scramble interceptors or activate air defense systems. Even more concerning for U.S. planners, they claim the F-35 in beast mode, carrying external weapons that compromise its stealth, could be detected from 450 kilometers away. The study used an algorithm to convert radar data into detection ranges and warning times. The researchers suggested their results might actually be conservative, as they used a limited number of radars in their simulation. This isn't China's only advancement in anti-stealth technology. Chinese scientists have also developed a cost-effective radar system that uses signals from the Beidou Navigation Satellite System, China's equivalent to GPS, to detect and track stealth aircraft. This innovative approach employs a single receiving antenna and a unique algorithm to identify stealth targets without emitting detectable signals itself, making it harder for aircraft to know they're being tracked. The radar can also switch to other satellite signals like GPS, Galileo, or GLONASS if Beidou is jammed, ensuring continuous operation even under electronic warfare conditions. But are these claims credible or merely propaganda designed to shake confidence in American military technology? Military experts remain skeptical of China's bold assertions. Here's why. First, computer simulations don't always translate to real-world performance. 
the conditions in a simulation can be carefully controlled to produce desired results. Real combat environments introduce countless variables that can't be easily modeled. Second, China has a history of exaggerating military capabilities for strategic effect. By claiming to have solved the stealth problem, they hope to deter U.S. operations near their shores and create uncertainty in military planning. Third, if China truly possessed reliable anti-stealth capabilities, they wouldn't need to continue developing their own stealth aircraft like the J-20 and J-31 at such a rapid pace. Why invest billions in stealth if you've rendered it obsolete? However, we shouldn't dismiss these claims entirely. China has invested heavily in counter-stealth technologies, including very high frequency, VHF, and ultra high frequency, UHF, radars that can detect some stealth aircraft, albeit with less precision than conventional radars. Infrared search and track systems that don't rely on radar reflections, quantum radar research, which theoretically could defeat conventional stealth, dense networks of interconnected sensors that can triangulate even faint signals. The truth likely lies somewhere in between complete dismissal and taking China's claims at face value. While China has probably made significant advances in counter-stealth technology, their systems likely work under specific conditions against certain aspects of stealth technology, not as the comprehensive solution they portray. Amid growing concerns about the long-term viability of current stealth technology, the United States has been developing its next generation of air dominance capabilities. On March 21, 2025, President Trump announced that Boeing had won the contract to build the F-47, the centerpiece of the Air Force's next-generation air dominance program. This sixth-generation fighter is designed to replace the F-22 Raptor and maintain American air superiority for decades to come. The F-47 isn't just an incremental improvement over the F-22 and F-35, it represents a generational leap in several key areas. Advanced stealth, the F-47 incorporates new materials, geometries, and active stealth technologies that make it significantly harder to detect than current fighters. These improvements aren't just designed to counter existing radars, but anticipate future detection methods. Increased range. With a combat radius exceeding 1,850 miles, far greater than the F-22s, the F-47 can operate deep in contested environments without relying on vulnerable tanker aircraft or forward bases within enemy missile range. Collaborative Combat Aircraft Control Perhaps most revolutionary, the F-47 is designed to operate as a mothership controlling multiple semi-autonomous drones. These collaborative combat aircraft can scout ahead, jam enemy radars, draw fire, or carry additional weapons all while the F-47 remains safely outside detection range. Adaptive propulsion. New engines from either GE Aerospace or Pratt & Whitney will provide unprecedented speed, altitude performance, and fuel efficiency. These engines can adjust their performance characteristics during flight to optimize for different mission requirements. Artificial intelligence integration. Advanced AI systems will assist pilots in processing sensor data, identifying threats and making tactical decisions faster than human operators alone could achieve. What makes the F-47 particularly relevant to this discussion is that it was explicitly designed to counter the exact type of anti-stealth systems China claims to possess. As Trump stated in the announcement, we're confident that it massively overpowers the capabilities of any other nation. America's enemies will never see it coming. The Pentagon plans to produce approximately 250 F-47s, significantly more than the 186 F-22s built, suggesting greater confidence in its long-term viability against emerging threats. How would these technologies play out in a potential conflict scenario? Let's consider a hypothetical Taiwan contingency. Current U.S. planning calls for F-22s and F-35s to establish air superiority over the Taiwan Strait neutralizing Chinese air defenses and attacking invasion forces. This approach assumes these aircraft can penetrate Chinese airspace without early detection. If China's anti-stealth systems work as claimed, this strategy becomes much riskier. Detected at 180 kilometers, F-22s and F-35s would come under threat from China's formidable S-400 and HQ-9 surface-to-air missile systems, which have ranges exceeding 250 kilometers. 
Chinese J-20 fighters could also be vectored to intercept the approaching American aircraft before they reach their targets. The F-47, however, changes this equation. With its greater range, it could launch standoff weapons from outside detection rings or deploy its drone companions to perform high-risk portions of missions. Multiple drones could also create confusion for Chinese air defenses, presenting too many targets to engage effectively. Even if China's current detection claims are accurate, they may not apply to the F-47's advanced stealth features. The aircraft has reportedly been flying in classified test programs for years, suggesting its technology is already mature and proven against the latest detection methods. An Air Force general speaking on background noted, We don't design our aircraft to counter yesterday's threats. We design them to defeat what we expect to face 20 years from now. Beyond technology, simple arithmetic plays a crucial role in this competition. As of late 2024, China had produced approximately 180 to 220 J-20 fighters, their most advanced stealth aircraft. The United States maintains 187 F-22s, but crucially has around 680 operational F-35s with plans to acquire 1,800 more. Adding 250 F-47s to this mix gives the U.S. a significant numerical advantage in 5th and 6th generation fighters. However, China has constructed over 400 hardened aircraft shelters to protect their assets, while U.S. Pacific bases remain vulnerable to missile attacks. A letter from U.S. Congress representatives in May 2024 highlighted that China could potentially destroy many U.S. aircraft on the ground in a preemptive strike. The F-47's ability to operate from longer distances partially mitigates this vulnerability, as it can be based further from China's missile envelope. The stealth versus anti-stealth competition extends beyond tactical considerations to shape the strategic balance in the Indo-Pacific. America's conventional deterrence posture relies heavily on the threat of intervention with superior air power. If China can credibly claim the ability to detect and target stealth aircraft, this deterrence becomes less effective, potentially emboldening aggressive action against Taiwan or in territorial disputes. Conversely, the F-47's announcement serves as a strategic signal that America maintains its technological edge. As one analyst put it, even if China's current systems can detect F-22s and F-35s under ideal conditions, they're already working on countering yesterday's technology. The F-47 resets the game. This technological competition also influences regional security dynamics. Japan, South Korea, and Australia, all of 35 operators are closely watching developments in counter-stealth technology. Any degradation of the F-35's effectiveness would affect their defense planning and potentially drive them to seek additional security guarantees from the United States. The F-47's eventual deployment to the region would reassure allies and serve as a powerful deterrent. Former head of U.S. Indo-Pacific Command Admiral John Aquilino emphasized the need for a permanent presence of advanced aircraft west of the international dateline, precisely the role the F-47 could fill. The military technological competition between China and the United States has major economic implications as well. The F-47 contract, worth approximately $20 billion for the engineering and manufacturing development phase alone, represents a critical lifeline for Boeing's military aviation division. Full production could be worth hundreds of billions more over the program's lifespan. This investment will create thousands of high-skilled jobs and drive innovation across the aerospace sector. Technologies developed for the F-47 will eventually find their way into commercial applications, generating additional economic benefits. For China, investments in counter-stealth technology serve dual purposes military advantage and potential export revenue. If Chinese systems prove effective, they could find eager buyers among nations seeking to counter Western air power advantages. However, the escalating costs of this technological arms race strain both nations' defense budgets. The F-35 program's 1.7 trillion lifetime cost already faces scrutiny, and the F-47 won't be cheaper. Similarly, China's massive military modernization program competes with domestic priorities amid slowing economic growth. Several emerging technologies could further disrupt the stealth versus anti-stealth dynamic. Quantum radar. Still largely theoretical, 
Quantum Radar could potentially defeat conventional stealth by using quantum entanglement to detect even the faintest returns from stealth aircraft. China claims to be leading in this field, though operational systems remain elusive. Hypersonic weapons Both nations are developing hypersonic missiles that travel at Mach 5 Plus and maneuver unpredictably. These weapons could target detected stealth aircraft before they can escape or strike hardened air defense systems before stealth aircraft arrive. Directed energy weapons High-powered lasers and microwave weapons could provide cost-effective defenses against multiple incoming targets, including the drone swarms the F-47 is designed to control. Artificial intelligence, AI will increasingly manage both detection networks and evasion tactics, potentially leading to machine speed battles where human operators struggle to keep pace with rapidly evolving situations. Space-based sensors, advanced satellites could track aircraft from above, detecting heat signatures or subtle atmospheric disturbances regardless of radar evading features. The nation that masters these technologies first could gain a decisive advantage, rendering current stealth counter-stealth calculations obsolete. For all the technological sophistication on both sides, several practical considerations remain. Fog of War No technology works perfectly in the chaos of combat. Systems fail, operators make mistakes, and unexpected interference disrupts carefully planned operations. Both Chinese detection systems and American stealth technologies will likely perform worse in actual conflict than in controlled tests. Electronic warfare? The electromagnetic spectrum will be hotly contested in any conflict. Jamming, spoofing, and cyber attacks could disable detection systems or compromise stealth aircraft systems. Maintenance challenges? Advanced technologies require extensive maintenance. China's ability to keep sophisticated radar networks operational under combat conditions remains unproven, while the F-47's cutting-edge systems will likely face reliability challenges early in deployment. Intelligence Limitations Neither side fully knows the other's capabilities. The U.S. may have countermeasures for Chinese detection systems that remain classified, while China could possess more advanced anti-stealth technologies than publicly acknowledged. Military planners on both sides must account for these uncertainties, building redundancy and flexibility into their strategies rather than relying on technological silver bullets. The stealth versus anti-stealth battle between China and the United States represents one of the most consequential military technological competitions of our time. The outcome will shape power dynamics in the Indo-Pacific region and potentially determine the course of any future conflict. China's claims about detecting America's stealth fighters at considerable distances shouldn't be dismissed outright, but should be viewed with healthy skepticism. They likely represent incremental progress in counter-stealth technology, rather than a comprehensive solution that renders stealth obsolete. The F-47, meanwhile, demonstrates America's commitment to maintaining its technological edge. By incorporating lessons learned from the F-22 and F-35 programs and anticipating future threats, this sixth-generation fighter aims to restore the margin of advantage that stealth has traditionally provided. As both nations continue pouring billions into this high-stakes competition, one thing remains clear. Neither stealth nor counter-stealth technologies will provide permanent, decisive advantages. Instead, we're witnessing an accelerating cycle of measure and countermeasure that characterizes all military innovation. For now, the United States maintains a significant lead in both the quality and quantity of stealth aircraft. The F-47's introduction will likely extend this advantage for years to come, but China's growing technological sophistication ensures this gap will continue narrowing unless the U.S. maintains its aggressive pace of innovation. In this ever-evolving chess match, the next move belongs to China. Will their counter-stealth systems prove as capable as claimed, or will the F-47 once again change the game? The answer will shape the balance of power in the skies for decades to come. If you found this analysis valuable, please support the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing for more in-depth coverage of military technology and geopolitics. Your engagement helps us continue bringing you quality content on these critical topics.